Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. We have an emergency service call that we got a water leak, there's water all over here. And funny enough, even this was overflowing. They had a problem, they want us to pull this thing out after man. Dear lord. But anyways, let's address this one first. This one's actually leaking everywhere. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. So these are the domestic water pumps. They got four of them here. Looking real crazy here, but check that out. Right there, we got a busted uh, connection at the flare nut. Engineer was already here. He tried to tighten it. That thing is tightened down all the way. Something's damaged there, but first things first, let's shut down, let's shut down this pump right here. All right, so we got this panel here. I'm assuming this is pump number one here. And this, right, for this one, and then pump number two for here. Well, I guess we'll see. Feel that running, pump off. Freaking hell, it didn't turn off. Come on, what do they do over here? I went into alarm. Why doesn't that turn it off? That's still on too. Let me see, did it, did it stop spinning? Feels like it's running. All right, we got the shaft spinning there. Turn it off. See if that slows down. It doesn't look like it. Man, this whole place is jacked up. Put it, put it back. Turn it off again. That one's still spinning too. Put it on auto, put this one off. All right, this one turned off, hold up. This one's still on. Turn this off now, the pump one. Now it turns off. Put that one on auto, the other one. It was on hand before. I think we got it. Oh, you silenced this alarm. All right, this pump number two was on hand before. Now it's in auto and it's spinning. And now that I have this off, this one turned off. What the heck is going on here? Whatever, as long as that stops, okay? Let's stop this water. Isolate here and here. Get both hands on here. We'll close this valve. Uh, come on. Water stopped. All right, the water stopped. There's a flare inside here, break or what? I can see this was repaired before. There's a, someone brazed this here. All right. All right. So this is the piece, this flare not here. It was leaking, it was tightened all the way. Maybe if I open it and see if something corroded there or what, everything looks so bad here. But look what I found here. This is the same piece. So look. I have a flare knot here. I have 3 8 pipe here. And I have my yellow jacket 
flaring. And swage kit. Pipe cutter, a little bit of sandpaper. I was gonna rebuild that. I might be able to keep the flare out if it's okay and the pipe is broken. Even the same ones that are there, just rebuild the area instead of uh, brazing an elbow. Got a tubing bender. And the idea was to do something like this, but with this here, and this is the same thing. I'm about to just take that out, man. I'm trying to make my life a little easier because they want us to work in here after. I ain't too glad about that. <laughs> Peace, man. All right, let's do that. Let's start by taking the one out over there and match it up. If it's the same one here, we're gonna take that. If not, we'll rebuild it if we have to. All right, hold back, try to spin that off. They tightened the heck out of this thing. There you go, there you go. Let's loosen it up, let's see what we see first. Go ahead, loosen it up. We don't get splashed right now. Right, pull it back a little. Yeah, yeah, leave it. What happened here? All right, whatever. Let's take off this one too. All right. All right, there oh. we go. Let's loosen that one up. Hold on to the pipe. We're gonna pull that whole piece out. If we can make our lives easier today, let's do so. If not, I'll just build a piece of pipe, put some flare nuts on there, and call it a day. This is the area that was leaking. I don't know how much you can see it, but there's a hole right here. I'm gonna take a picture so you guys can see it. It corroded inside, that's the problem. I would've rebuilt this piece, but if I could take it out there, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a picture so you guys see, see the, the light through it a little bit. There you go. <laughs> wow. same piece right there the flare nuts are different you can tell this was changed this is, so these are refrigeration flare nuts we're gonna we're gonna take this thing out daniel come through let's pull yeah. these two out okay yeah make yourself comfortable you want to come around here uh you got that pipe in the way man come in it's all good come in pull that. there we go let's work right here i'll hold it down for you all right so we're gonna loosen up these two flare nuts yeah, we're literally just gonna pop it right on there. All right, there you go. What a mess over here. We're gonna put everything back the way we found it, with the pumps or whatever. That's a whole nother story, all right? It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. Check yourself up. Okay, loosen up. Good. Alright. Get that thing out of there. Clean off those fittings real quick. Make sure everything is clean. Yo, this ceiling just came down, man. Look. That freaking drain pipe is leaking. It just exploded. Oh my god, yo. Hurry that up, let's get out of here, man. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck is going on here, man? God, it smells so bad in here, man. Let's put that on tight now. Let's get out of here. I'm trying, man. Oh my lord. Look at this thing. I need to rebuild this whole freaking place, man. Jesus. All right. Just gonna tighten down both sides and open the water back up. I cannot believe this place right now. Unbelievable. 
nice and clean. All right, let's open up the water. If we can. This thing is so tight, man. There we go. Okay. It would have leaked already, honestly. All right. Looks good to me. All right, that's looking good. It's ready to go. This relief valve is shot. This relief valve, this packing is wet. The gasket here, I think it's done. I see a little water coming out through here too. That's just like an open fitting. I'm like, that's like a disaster waiting to happen. You should at least cap that off. I would change that relief and cap that off, but this is the real nightmare that was happening here. Should dry up this whole pump, make sure nothing else is leaking. That was wild. Look at all that nastiness that came out of there. You see the whole wall is wet. And that's getting on everything in here. It looks unbelievable. Ugh. Hold up a second. Hey, you can see it leaking right there. Drips. Look at the pump. All that dirt got on the pump. That's really bad. Anyway, oh man. We're gonna turn this thing back on. That's the way it was. All right, and we're back. No more leaks. We did it. This needs to be addressed. This should be capped off right here. And this uh, relief valve has a little drip on it. It should be changed out. This place is just a disaster waiting to happen. I'm gonna make those recommendations, but this is what they wanted for now, and this is all we're doing. And yeah, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. We're gonna wrap this video up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as we come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.